Hey everybody, so what do the Vivo Nix 3, the Google Pixel 4, the Google Pixel 3, and the Xiaomi Mi 8 Explore Edition all have in common, other than the fact that they're all Android phones? So they all use technology from NDT, New Degree Technologies. They are a tech firm in, based in Shenzhen, China, but they have offices in the US. They specialize in making force sensors. So on the Vivo Nix 3, that comes in the form of these hardware buttons right here that are actually not buttons that you can press into them to power on and off the screen and also the volume rockers that you can adjust volume and on the google pixel 4 and pixel 3 they come in the form of squeeze sensors so they're called edge sense i believe you basically squeeze the side of the phone to trigger google assistant but on other devices such as the nubia z20 or the htc u11 you can customize the squeeze function to turn on other apps so here on my unit of the Nubia Z20, I've configured the device so that if I squeeze it quickly, it goes into the camera. And if I long squeeze it, it'll open Chrome. You see, that's very useful, right? And as I mentioned, you can configure all this yourself by jumping into settings. And then you see, you have the option to choose different apps, turn on and off the flashlight, and you, you, know, you can launch any app you want, Netflix, Facebook, whatever you want. And you can even adjust the pressure level. That means these sensors here, they're not just uh, digital sensors. It's not like they can only detect on or off. They can detect varying degrees of pressure. So you see, I can squeeze it lightly to go one, squeeze it two, squeeze it higher, harder to go to eight. See, so you see, we're not really pressing into it. So that's pretty cool. Right? If you look at the sides of Nubia Z20, it looks completely clean and smooth. It doesn't look like there's a button here or sensors here. And that's all the work of NDT. And what amazed me during my company visit was that I thought the sensors would be pretty bulky considering how much they do. But actually no, the sensors are flexible and they're paper thin. They can actually fit into like a photo album book. So as you can see here, this engineer is showing me how they put the sensors into the sides of the phone. And it looks to be a pretty simple process. You just simply stick it on like a sticker. And once it's on, now that sensor can, can detect physical force, analog force, and translate it into digital information for your phone's brains. That would be the Snapdragon 855 or whatever chipset it is to pick up the information. Now, of course, you can put these sensors anywhere. They don't just have to be on the side of a bezel. They can be underneath a screen, which is what Meiju did with his home button. And also Xiaomi with the Mi 8 Explore Edition on that phone, you have to press on the fingerprint sensor a little bit harder to unlock. Unfortunately, I don't have that device to test right now. But NDT envisions its sensors to be used in other technology too. Like imagine you have those sensors inside your car tires. That way it can detect the pressures of a car tire. Like if your car tire needs to be pumped, if it's getting a little bit flat, the sensors can pick it up and send you a notification on your phone. NDT has also put the sensors inside this vape pen here so you can just press on a button with varying degrees of squeezes to vaporize whatever smoke you want to inhale. And NDT thinks it could be used in the medical field too. So right here, an NDT staff is showing that she's actually checking her pulse via this small metal nub. This small metal nub has that sensors inside. So these sensors, because they're so small, so flexible and relatively inexpensive, they can basically fit under any surface and once that fits into any surface as long as that device has a small chipset a small processor it'll be able to detect analog pressure digitally it'll be able to detect analog pressure digitally that's pretty impressive and considering that in the world and considering that in the world of smartphones all companies are trying to do right now is to make a phone as sleek as possible without buttons without holes and all that that means NDT's technology should have a bright future. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 was rumored to also have no buttons, to have pressure sensitive sides. Samsung didn't end up using it, but who knows, maybe Samsung will use it for the for the Note 11 or the, or the S12 or whatever. And then Apple was also rumored to be working on that for the iPhones too. So maybe by 2021, all phones will have no buttons. It will just be something you press on the side to turn on and off. And if that's the case, NDT sensors will come in very handy. I know this technology is gonna have doubters right now because they're gonna say they prefer physical buttons, but I really think when they're done well, they will replace physical buttons down the line. So that's it for now. As you can tell, I'm not in Hong Kong right now. I'm on the road again.
I have a lot of work to do and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching.